Hey guys and welcome back to this month's monthly free content for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again we've got access to 5 amazing different assets free for this month only for December 2022. So what we've got this time around is the stylized dynamic nature, the platformer stylized cube world volume 1, the stylized truck pack, the hospitality pack and the modular gothic temple medieval winter and snow. So this is what we're we'll going over and covering today, showcasing these different assets, with a link obviously in the description down below to where you can get these. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with Stylized Dynamic Nature. So this is a vibrant pack of stylized trees, rocks, grass, plants, water, and 3D clouds. Some key features of this are it has 18 unique trees, including bamboo, birch, palm, and pine, 16 unique rocks, each built to scale well, complex grass, water and cloud master materials featuring lots of tweakable parameters, global wind parameters that affect all instances of trees, grass and plant assets, various particle effects including wind trails and falling leaves, and a Kuwahara filter post-process material which produces a painting-like visual effect. So all 3D assets in this are 2K texture resolutions with albedo and normal maps, and there are 17 alpha maps included as masks for tree leaves, grass and landscape noise. In total, there's 10 master materials and 102 material instances, and there's 61 total unique static meshes, all of which have automatic per poly collision generated on them. And as for LODs, all trees, rocks, grass, and plant meshes feature automatically computed LODs as well. So I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. And next up, we have Platformer Stylized Cube World Volume 1. So this is full of fun assets to create your own game along with the ability to easily build new levels as well. So this asset pack includes more than 100 different models including platforms, props, power-ups, obstacles, chests, vegetation and much much more. Some of the props include a wooden bridge, wooden crate, metal crate, fence, ladders, signboards and towers. Power-ups can be arrows, coins, gems, goals and checkpoints, jump pads and more. Obstacles can be spikes and pillar spikes. Vegetation can be bush, flower, grass, log, etc, etc, and there's 10 blueprint items. Along with these, there's particle systems of dust, smoke, and wind, and also texture and material color variations to make it all look different and unique. Included in all of this, there's also 6 awesome demo scenes and an overview map to give you an idea of what you can create with this. Some technical details of this are high quality game environments, shared alternate materials to create more color options, a variety of many props to choose from, it works great for different game genres, high attention to detail, high quality props, easy to use game level design and it's great for 3D, 2.5D, 2D and even isometric games. In total there's 102 unique meshes, all with automatically generated collision on them, but there are no LODs. There's 10 materials and 121 material instances and there's 170 textures with the resolutions being 512, 1K and 2K. So again, I think this one looks absolutely great. If this is the kind of style of game you wanted to make, this would be absolutely perfect for you just to get that kind of base foundation built in there. Now we have the stylized truck pack. So this is a pack which contains a drivable stylized truck model with gasoline truck, box truck and trunk truck options and it's suitable for both PC and consoles. So this again includes one truck, one gasoline tank, one box, one trunk and five decals. So there's not a lot to say on this, there's not a lot on the page, but the video really just showcases what you're going to get. So this includes an overview map, it has 11 meshes with automatically generated collision on them, and there is also automatically generated LODs as well. There's 29 materials and material instances, and 34 textures being both 1K and 4K. There's 12 blueprints, and the input is keyboard and mouse. Now a side note on this are there are some plugins that you need to enable for it to work. So if you're on UE4, you need to enable the Physics Vehicles plugin, and on UE5, you need to enable the Chaos Vehicles plugin. And just as a reminder, that is also on the Marketplace page as well, if you do forget which ones those are. Again, not a lot to say on this, but as you can see in the video, it looks absolutely fantastic for what you're going to want. Next up, we have the Hospitality Pack. So this includes restaurant equipment, industrial kitchen supplies, and everything you'll need to get started. Once again, not a lot written about this on the Marketplace page, it's mainly just a list of everything included in this, which I'm obviously not just going to read out a list. But essentially, the hospitality pack includes a wide range of modular models for creating different styles of restaurants, kitchens, bathrooms and dining areas. 
So the key word in there that I'm taking away from this is modular. So everybody came up with all these assets and make something look completely different. So imagine you've got a box of Lego pieces designed for a hospitality pack. You can use those to create your own different things. So again, you can use these individual pieces to create restaurants, kitchens, bathrooms, and dining areas. So some technical details of this are that the props are scaled to the Epic Skeleton and have physically based rendering. The textures are 4K, 2K, 1K, and 512. And there's 321 meshes, all of which have collision and two to four LODs. There's six materials and 103 material instances and 262 textures. And again, I'm not gonna go through the whole list, but some things that are gonna be in this are front of house, so tills, fridges, freezers, coffee machines, crockery, so plates and bowls, kitchen equipment, so deep fryers, gas cookers, sinks and fridges, chairs, boxes, tables, lights, shelves, stairs, signs, sidewalks, sofas, whatever it is that you think you're gonna to need to make a hospitality environment is likely gonna be within this pack. And finally, last but not least, we've got the modular gothic temple, medieval winter snow. So this is obviously a modular gothic temple environment. And this is a pretty common theme with all of these different asset packs for this month, is there's not a lot to say on the marketplace page. Really, it's just the videos and the images speak for themselves. There's not a lot written on here. But the technical details of this one are it does have collision, it does have light maps, and it does have LODs. In total, there's 133 meshes with 28 materials and 115 material instances and 173 textures. There's one blueprint, three particles, and two maps. The particles are fire, snowfall, and smoke, and the maps are Gothic Temple and an overview map. And once again, not a lot to say, but this is modular as with the last one as well. So you can create your own custom environments using these packs and all of these different assets in here do look very, very high quality. You could really make some amazing looking things using this asset pack. So I think that'll be it for this video covering this month's monthly free assets for December 2022 on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Once again, we've got the Stylized Dynamic Nature, the Platformer Stylized Cube World Volume 1, Stylized Truck Pack, Hospitality Pack, and the Modular Gothic Temple Medieval Winter Snow. I think my favourite one this time around is probably the Modular Gothic Temple, but let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is this month as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just going over and covering these different assets, showing them off, giving my opinion, and again, just giving a general showcase of them. And if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like, subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.